guys, it's Amber. Welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Generations. Apparently, Olivia decided that now this time 4.30 in the morning is a good time to wake up as well. Apparently, this family, they really like to get up early in the morning. It looks like Isaac is about to start crying as well, so we might as well have Zoe get up and take care of his needs before he screams his head off. But today is a big day. It's Olivia's first day at school. It's Eli's first day of work. And Zoe is actually going to go and get her job today. I'm super excited. I want her to follow her dreams. Like, I want her to, to go for what she wants. And, and, and who says that just because she's a mom and she, that she can't follow her dreams? You know what I mean? That she can't have the job that she wants. So not react to the noisy sim why don't you go ahead and make the bed i know you didn't get a full night's sleep but i do need you to wake up before work and go and mop up this puddle and just clean some things up for us thank you is he hungry as well yeah he's hungry we'll give him a bottle oh my gosh she has to stop with this clapping thing i don't know what that's about but she keeps throwing her baby everywhere. Then we'll have her have some leftover eggs Machiavellian again. So cute. So cute. Stop with the clapping. I'm offended. She's throwing her baby everywhere. Why don't you clean that dish up for me so he doesn't have to do that? And are you excited for your first day of school? She wanted to go on a joy ride. Or go for a joy ride. We don't have, like, a couch. But I was thinking, you know, we have a little bit of extra money. And I feel like I keep saying that. And eventually we're going to run out of so-called extra money. But I was thinking, you know, it's not very expensive. Let's buy her maybe a bean bag to, like, put in her room. Because, like, when I was a kid, I wanted a bean bag so bad. It's insane. Like, it's, like... Just a weird want that all the kids have, you know? So maybe we'll get her one of those. And then she'll be able to go for a joy ride on that. And um, that'll take care of that wish for her. Looks like he's in the shower. Oh, he got pranked. You just got pranked. Nice. And Zoe's still playing with the baby. Carpool for Eli will come in about an hour. You, got, you better hurry up, bro. He's not hungry, so at least we don't have to... Um, can you stop clapping with your baby? I feel like that's child abuse. Um, so at least he won't have to, to eat before he goes to work. And Olivia's just cleaning up these dishes. She is such a good little girl. I have a feeling she's not going to be that good uh, whenever she grows up. She's already adventurous, which I know in the Sims sense means that she's like wants to go traveling and stuff. But... In, in my sense of the word adventurous, I feel like she's kind of going to be a little bit of a troublemaker. We can already tell that she, you know, loves planning booby traps. I have a feeling that when she's a teenager, she's definitely going to stay out after curfew. And th th there's going to be some problems with that. And I'm so excited for teenagers because then we can have prom. And it's just going to be a whole amazing, fun situation. So, Eli, are you about to head off to work? He had about 10 minutes. Oh, look at him in his little outfit. His little uniform that he has to wear for work. So cute. She needs to go. And she broke the toilet again. Well, we'll have her just unclog that after she eats breakfast. The school bus for Olivia will come in about an hour. Oh, it looks like Eli's heading off on his first day of work. Good luck, buddy. Oh, we love that he had his outfit on and that he's unloaded. Um, and then he changed. Is it cold out? Oh, it's 30 degrees. That's cold. That's like two below freezing. Oh, it's just one below freezing. I guess it warmed up a degree. Bye. Have fun at work. Let's have him go ahead and meet his coworkers. No, actually, let's have him practice his writing. Because that's, that's what he needs, right? He needs writing skill. All right, Zoe. Olivia, your bus is coming soon. How are you feeling? We could have her take a quick little shower. She fulfilled her wish of wanting to go for a joy ride. I don't think she'll be able to take a full shower, 
but maybe she will. Maybe I'm uh, underestimating or overestimating the amount of time that it takes for Sims to shower. But from my knowledge, it takes like 85 years, so it's fine. All right, she's just going to unclog the toilet and then come and clean this up. Wait, no, baby, don't unclog the toilet because your daughter is in the shower. Clean this up, and then whenever she heads off to school, then we can unclog the toilet. And it looks like Fred has to go soon. Where are you going to go? You live here. It looks like the fall festival has just made its way to town. I am so excited. I've got to go. Where are you going? You're our imaginary friend. Hello? Is he never going to come back? Is he, like, is this, like, in the Fairly Odd Parents when they lose their fairies and then, like, they never come back? Like, is he going to find another kid to play with? Where is he going? Fred is at school right now. Fred goes to school? Oh, it looks like Isaac has an imaginary friend as well. So I guess that means that if Fred runs away and never comes back, at least we have a backup. All right, Olivia, are you ready to go to your first day of school? Apparently not, because she's taking forever to get out to the bus. Come on. Let's have you going out to the bus. Oh, she's so big. She's going to school. I feel like a real mom. I'm like, oh, no. She's going to school for the first time. <gasps> Let's have her meet some new friends. Oh. Oh, and Fred is at school. In her inventory, apparently. And the baby needs his diaper change. I feel like she wants to go get this job, but, like, honestly, honestly, there's, like, so many things stopping us. But that's okay. We just need to get through all of this. Let's help our baby before we unclog the toilet, actually. And then, after that, hopefully there will be no more distractions and we can go and get our job. I'm sorry about this shirt, though. It, like, keeps unloading, and then it looks weird, and then it's not my fault, Okay. All right, buddy. It's okay. We're coming to help you. She's meeting some new friends at school. I'm so excited if we find friends. And then we can um, we can have a sleepover. So excited. Olivia just went to her first day of school. You know, one thing that I don't like about the, the Enra's story progression mod is that there are only so many doors that kids can go in and out of at school. And if you let the town, like, if you play for a certain amount of generations, I think I played up to four generations, like, people cannot get in the school. Like, they just will not be able to walk in just because there's so many people. It's kind of insane. Aw, it looks like Isaac is feeling better. Maybe we won't have her unclog the toilet. Maybe we'll just go and we'll just chase after our dreams and we'll just leave the unclogged toilet there and we are going to go and get ourselves a job in the political career city hall join political career let's go leader of the free world here we come congratulations seth has just improved his athletic skill to level one like i said just because she's a mom does not mean that she can't follow her dreams and i think she's going to be a great politician let's get going olivia have you met any new friends yet no, she's got Fred and she's got Neo. Seth, man, getting that athletic skill up, apparently. I keep forgetting to turn off the notifications from story progression, but that's okay. Oh, I keep forgetting that they're not married yet. They're not even engaged yet. Maybe we'll have them get engaged in, like, the next part. I don't know when they're going to get married, though, because I want to have a costume party on Spooky Day. And I want Olivia to go trick-or-treating on Spooky Day. But, like, that's the last time that we can actually get married unless we want them to take, like, a day off. Seth, my God. So, I don't know when we'll have them get married. What are your guys' thoughts? Do you think we should have them get married in um, on Spooky Day? Should we have them get married on the weekend? When When should we get married? Go ahead and join that political career, girl. You can do this. I believe in you. I believe in you. <gasps> oh, it's her first step towards her dreams. I'm so excited for her. I'm so excited. 
Yes. She is going to be a podium polisher. She works for $24 an hour, which is not as much as we got paid at the part-time job, but she works more hours from 9 to 3. That's not bad. I think that's the same time that Olivia goes to school, so it should be okay. The town needs strong leadership to enrich society and guide the course of the citizenry. City Hall is currently looking for charismatic individuals who know how to schmooze the right sims for money, as well as manage upwards. Let's go. Let's go ahead. Yeah. She, she must be there on 9 a.m. on Tuesday, and our boss is Brandon Woods. So we better go home and start working on that charisma skill because it looks like she's going to need it for work, and he's doing great. Have you met any of your coworkers yet? Who's his boss? Addison Bates. Huh. He's a professional blogger. Interesting. All right, well... We can head on home and get working on that charisma skill. I'm so excited for her that she's she's moving on up. I can't believe... Oh, I wanted Olivia to, while she's at school, I guess, after school, why don't you go ahead and sign up for ballet? Or maybe can we sign her up for ballet and she doesn't have to? I feel like let's do that. Let's... Um, Sign child up for after school class ballet, Olivia. So cute. Looks like I'm all done here. All right, and then we will practice our speech. We want to talk to Brandon. Is that our boss? Is he the father of Stardust Woods? The celebrity? I don't know if she's actually a celebrity. I don't have late night installed. So she can't be like an actual sim celebrity. But I feel like with a name like Stardust, she's a celebrity. You know what I mean? All right. Let's see what kind of things that she's got going on here. This rain is killing me. Olivia Monroe has met Cedric Sprague at school. Cedric Diggory? Who is this? Cedric Sprague, boy. Olivia is now signed up for ballet. Cute. Oh, it's this kid. Cute. Eli met Craig Elson while at work. All right, let's um. Yeah, let's go and have her work on her charisma skill. We're definitely gonna have to look into getting a bigger house at some point, uh, just because Isaac is probably gonna want his own room whenever he ages up. He'll be fine uh, as a baby, and as a toddler, we might just have to put his stuff out here. But I'm worried we might have to, like, turn this office into a, be a bedroom and, like, move the, the desk over here and just have no living room. Because right now, like, it doesn't look like... It doesn't look like it's going to be very good for him to just not have his own room. You know what I mean? He's going to be... He's a kid, and I don't think he would want a room with his sister. So, who knows? All right, she's almost at charisma level two. All right. Now she wants to use charming introduction. Let's have her take a quick shower. And then maybe she'll clean the shower, unclog the toilet, and take a bit of a nap. Take a shower and take a bit of a nap, actually. Uh, it looks like Eli's on his way home. He wants to work on his book, which we definitely will do. Don't even worry about it. Whenever he gets home, though, he can go ahead and just play some computer games for a little bit because he's feeling kind of stressed. And Olivia, I believe, should be going to after school class today. Yeah, she should be going to ballet after school. Oh, I guess we lied about the nap because your baby's crying. He's hungry and he's feeling a little bit lonely. So we should probably take care of him, snuggle him, and play with him, give him a bit of a bottle, and then you can take a nap. I wonder why she's a lot more tired than everyone else. Oh, maybe she didn't sleep as much. I bet that's it. Are you home yet, Eli? Yep, he just got home, and the baby just started crying. Came home right on time. I know that Olivia's gonna leave and then go right back to after school, but... Oh, yep, yeah, she's in ballet. You can hear the little music of them practicing. So cute. So cute. All right, buddy. 
go ahead and cuddle this boy. Then you can take a nap. He's just going to play a little bit of computer games. Like I said, he's a bit stressed. Olivia will get home at 5. So there's that. I love them. This is so cute. Let me take a picture. Aww. Oh, wow. I'm real zoomed in. Actually, that's cute. Cute. Oh, that's not as cute. Clapping with your baby. I just want you to... I just... I just want you to take a nap. I just want you to take a nap. All right, let's see. His fun is up. I'm going to have him go and unclog the toilet and clean the shower and then maybe come and continue writing his book. Hopefully he'll finish it soon. He's been working on it for quite a while. Okay, Olivia, I can't wait for you to get home and tell us all about your first day of school. I bet it was so fun. You only met one friend. I thought you would meet more friends than that. I met so many friends when I had my first day of, like, kindergarten or whatever. That's a big day. I, I don't really remember it that well. But there's a lot of pictures. And I, I remember the friends that I had when I was younger. Oh, sorry, I just yawned there. Olivia Monroe has now learned the plie move and can show it off to others. Oh, that's so exciting. That's so exciting. I remember when I first learned how to plie, and I was just doing it all the time because I was like, wow, this thigh workout, though. And it is. It hurts on your thighs and on your calves. Oh, man. Dancing is hard. Olivia's class will be taking a field trip to Memorial Jimmy Lemon to the Jimmy Lemon Memorial Museum. Do you want to sign the permission slip to let Olivia attend? She will be excused from any after-school activity she may have. So the thing about this is that if we let her attend this, then this will be this ballet class that she went to will be the only ballet class she will ever attend but i want to let her go let's do it who cares she learned the plie move and that's all you need in your life girl that's all you need in your life you don't need any other ballet moves to be a famous dancer you just need to know how to plie that's it all right it looks like she's on her way home i hope that she doesn't have to bike home in the rain because that would be really sad we also have some homework for her to do her first time ever doing homework. All right, go ahead and clean the toilet, please. Oh, no, is she going to have to bike home in the rain? Who's this? Is this her friend? Nigel Martin. No, she doesn't know him. Who's this? Maria Best. Oh, I've heard about her. <gasps> Look how cute she is in her little left. Oh, her little outerwear with her cute little pigtails. So cute. So cute. Who's this? Sebastian Petit, tourist. Gotcha. Oh, she's biking home in the rain. And it's 28. How is this rain if it's 28 degrees? I mean, then again, sometimes when it snows, it's warmer than it rains. And sometimes when it rains, it's colder than you would think. I know that was really confusing, when I, what I just said. Have you guys ever done that trick on someone where you've said, like, what does Y-E-S spell? What does E-Y-E-S spell? I saw that video. That was so funny. I did that to my uncle, and he, he fell for it, too. He was like, E's? E's? E-S? Going to change your son's dirty diaper, please. Olivia, you need to get started on your homework. And Eli's working on his book. Hopefully he'll finish it soon. I mean, he's not super far. He's about a f fourth of the way from being done. Can we silence your phone? Ignore this call. Okay, if it wasn't an opportunity, then do we really care? Why are you doing your homework on the floor? There's a chair right there. All right, I guess. Can they help with homework? Is that a thing? No, it doesn't look like it. I think they have to ask for help, like, on their actual homework. In The Sims 4, you have to wait for them to start doing their homework, and then they can help. All right. Um, put him back in his crib, because he is getting tired. 
and let's figure out what we can have for dinner. I think we should actually have her serve some a salad for dinner. And he just sent in a couple more chapters of the book. Hopefully he'll be finishing it soon. She wants to pillow fight with a sim. We can definitely do that. We love that she's standing right in the middle of the pathway to get to the fridge. Like, why did you choose to sit here of all places? I'm so confused about your life choices right now. All right, Zoe. Go and get that food started for me. I just want you to finish your book. Is that too much to ask? Look how close you are to finishing it. Just finish it. It looks like Olivia. She's a little over halfway done with her homework. And Isaac is asleep. And he's got an imaginary friend too. Let's give Snuggles a boy's name. Let's name Snuggles. If we have one that's named Fred, we definitely have to name the other one George. That's just how it goes. Uh, and we're going to put Fred out here for now. Because apparently he went to school, so I feel like he may never return. Okay, no, he turned into a doll again. Or an imaginary friend again, not a doll. I was worried that he was never going to come back. Welcome to adulthood, Bella Boosh, little dog. Oh, man, I am yawning a lot this part. I'm so sorry if I'm making you yawn. I know that that can be so annoying. I hate when people do that. Zoe's ready for to jump into the frying pan of the culinary crafter. She's got a cooking skill from making a salad. Nice. Please, one of you finish your homework or your book. I think it's going to be him first. Well, I don't know. Her homework thing is going up real quick. Maybe they'll magically finish their homework and book at the same time. And then it'll be like magic. Who knows? Oh, no. He definitely finished his first. Alright. Eli's newest science fiction saga, The Quantum Malfactor, aims for the excitement of a blockbuster movie. A blockbuster summer movie condensed into 150 pages of technology and spaceships. It's being compared to That's a Wrap, the true life story of the first mummy film director in some circles. The first reviews are already in, and it's clear that The Quantum mal Malfactor is destined to be a bestseller. Really? And it was our first book? Wow! Good job there! And right in time for dinner. Um, call household to meal. Or, or not. Or, oh, okay. Can you put, grab a plate. No, don't you dare eat leftovers. Grab a plate of this. You can grab a plate as well. All right. He also got his writing skill up. That's so exciting. You only need to grab one plate. Everybody grab a plate of food to eat, please. Of course, as soon as they start eating, Isaac is ready to cry. But that's he's asleep, so we don't really have to take care of him right this second. We can have a nice family dinner first. But I think that is all that I have for you for this part, you guys. It was really fun with, with her. Oh, not with this yawning. But with her first day of school and his first day of work and getting her job. And now everybody's in a terrible mood. And I'm going to have to handle that off camera. I don't want to. It's fine. Um, but yeah, make sure that you guys like this video. Leave your comments down below for the sections for the next part. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know that every single time I upload a part of this series. And I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.